Hi, I'm Desiree Williams, Newport News resident, physical fitness professional, and marathon runner. Thank you for joining me as we set the pace for the Newport News One City Marathon. We're counting down the miles of the Newport News One City Marathon course. At mile 15, runners reach John B. Todd Stadium and another one of our wave stations. They won't be doing a victory lap around the stadium, but it will feel like it as the fans are there to cheer them on and with more waiting as they approach a welcoming crowd and band at Christopher Newport University. Then, the marathon route becomes an outdoor gallery as it passes some of the most magnificent architecture and public art Newport News has to offer and ends up on the Lions Bridge running along the boundaries of Lake Mari. The Newport News One City Marathon is really about showcasing our one city, the neighborhoods, the culture, the beauty, and all the richness that stretches from one end of our marathon length city to the other. By mile 20, runners will be in historic Hilton Village, designated one of 10 great neighborhoods in the U.S. by the American Planning Association. This final stretch of the course goes by the Main Street branch of the Newport News Public Library System. In addition to all the expected resources and computer access, Main Street Library's Virginiana Room is the starting line if you want to look up your Virginia genealogy and local history. This is another point of excitement as the relay team runners make it here to Hilton Elementary and pass the baton off to their teammates running the final leg of the 26 mile course. That's right, relay teams. If you haven't heard, the Newport News One City Marathon has a very unique race component. Teams of up to four persons can share in the course and share in the excitement of finishing a 26 mile race. At the 22 mile mark, runners will cut through Huntington Park past the Virginia War Museum, and the course cozies up along the James River as they approach the historic North End Huntington Heights neighborhood. And at mile 24, they're on the tree-lined streets of Huntington Avenue. We're off to their right, the awesome site of the nation's largest shipbuilding operation and largest industrial employer in Virginia, Newport News Shipbuilding. Founded in 1886, Newport News Shipbuilding is the sole designer, builder, and refueler of U.S. Navy aircraft carriers, one of only two providers of U.S. Navy submarines, and our Newport News One City Marathon presenting sponsor. The last two turns are onto Washington Avenue past the Tugboat Dorothy, the new Apprentice School, City Hall, and the first site of the Victory Arch, and then onto 25th Street and into the park. As the runners cross the finish line and pass through the arch, they too will proclaim victory. Then joining the community at the One City One Celebration Festival right here in Victory Landing Park. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay tuned to NNTV for more news and information on how you can get involved in the Newport News One City Marathon. Celebrating that we are one great city.